Alright, kiddos, I asked you in the last video to work problem 167 on your own. So we're going to work out problem 167 so that you can check your answer and see if you are indeed correct. So this is a foil because there's nothing in between the parentheses. So I'm going to do first, outer, inner, last. Negative 7 times negative 8 is positive 56. A negative times a negative is a positive. Negative 7 times negative 8i is the outer. A negative times a negative is a positive, and that's positive 56i. Inner is positive 5i times negative 8, which is negative 40i. And last, 5i times negative 8i. A positive times a negative is a negative. i times i is i squared, so that's negative 40i squared. I do like terms. Positive 56i and negative 40i give me 16i. 56 take away 40, 16. I cannot have a power of i bigger than first power. So I look up here, i squared is negative 1. So I replace that with negative 1. The negative negative makes that a positive 40. Fifty-six and forty now are like terms and they become ninety-six. And I always write the real number part in front of the imaginary part. So the answer to this problem is ninety-six plus sixteen I. And that is another FOIL problem. When you look at your packet, 168, 169, 170, and 171 are all FOIL problems. Now I'm going to leave you to do those on your own. Now look with me please at problem 172. I'm going to work 172 and then I'm going to ask you to try one on your own. 172 is not exactly a FOIL problem. It is a big multiplication problem. It's this times this times this. There's nothing in between the parentheses. So the easiest way to do it is to multiply these two. And once we get an answer, distribute it to this one. It's not really a FOIL because there's not a plus here. So let's do it piece by piece. Negative 5i times i is negative 5i squared. But y'all, I cannot have a power of i bigger than i to the first. So i squared is a fancy name for negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. So now it's simply a distributive problem. I'm going to distribute 5 to 3 plus i. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times i is 5i. My final answer, it's written in the right shape, is 15 plus 5i. I would like you now on your own to stop the video, and I would like you to do for me problem number 173.